Hey guys, it's Abby from Abby of Pelinor, and today I'm going to be telling you about five amazing books you've probably never heard of. So these are books that I think that are absolutely brilliant. I have either reread them multiple times or just absolutely adored them and flew through them, and I never hear anybody talking about them. Ever. And you really should read them. I have them going across a few different genres, so I've got adult fantasy, I've got adult contemporary, adult non-fiction, YA contemporary, and YA fantasy. Let's get into them. I'm going to start with the one that you've most likely heard of, out of all of these, and that is The Bonus Mercies by April Genevieve Tuchelk. This is a retelling of Beowulf, which I've not actually read the original of, I need to, and it's a fantasy retelling which basically follows a group of girls who do mercy killings for people who are ill, who are injured, they will take upon themselves to kill them and allow them to pass on into any afterlife or just into the void and they decide that actually there's this big beast that needs to be defeated and they want to do it they want to do more than just these mercy killings so they decide to, to go and work on that and it's their story of getting there the trek across the landscape them working together it's incredible it's beautiful i fell in love with this book and I have heard it talked about on booktube but not a lot <laughs> really not a lot and this is one of my absolute favorites I really do recommend picking this up it's beautiful and I really do need to read the Beowulf original and just in case it wasn't clear this is the YA fantasy now going for the YA contemporary and this is the princess plot by Kirsten Boy as far as I know this was actually translated from German into English and this is a book that I read when I was the actual age for YA <laughs> and I loved it so so much. I am not the sort of person who tends to enjoy reading contemporaries, let alone enjoy reading seemingly girly ones, but if you can tell by this bit, it's got a bit of a twist. Uh, these are meant to be bullet holes on the cover, so... Mm. Basically there is a film crew recruiting this girl um, and trying to just recruit lots of different girls to come to their kingdom to film some like scenes acting as a princess and so our main character Jenna is surprised she's picked she always thought that she would never be picked for something like this but she's picked she goes along and it turns out that there is a darker and more sinister plot and the princess she's playing the real princess seems to be missing and we go from there this is a book that I never ever hear anybody talk about. There's actually a second book, it's a duology, Princess Plot and Princess... Ah shoot, I can't remember the name of the other one. What is it? What is it? But I don't remember. I'll pop it on screen. Sorry editing Abby. But the duology is great as a whole, I really enjoy both books. But why do I never hear anybody talking about this? It's a fantastic YA contemporary that talks about so many different issues. It talks about classism, racism, it talks about looking after like women and feminism. It's fantastic. Then moving on to the adult contemporary book and that is The Universe vs Alex Wood by Gavin Extens. I picked this up purely for the cover, not gonna lie, but I ended up really loving it. We follow Alex Woods as he tries to just live his life but things just don't turn out right and it's a re- what is that noise? <laughs> what a drill! Why? So his mother is a clairvoyant, he was hit on the head by a meteorite when he was a kid and I think we follow him all the way through with his friendship with this old man and them travelling to Europe and it is a ride. So although we do follow Alex when he is younger, we do start off with him as a kid. This is definitely an adult read but one that I think is really moving, will be really thought provoking and that I never hear anybody talking about. I really do recommend picking this one up. Now for the adult fantasy recommendation and that is The First Fifteen Lives of Harry August by Claire North. So this is very much a light fantasy, this is set in the real world, that tends to be what Claire North does. She takes our real world, puts a slight fantastical spin on it and goes from there. So this follows Harry August and every time he reaches the end of his life, whether that is an accident such as like being hit by a car or if it is just him dying of old age, every single time when he dies he then resets back to when he was a boy and goes from there. And so he 
just has kind of come to accept this and he doesn't understand what's happening but he's just going to accept it until one day just before his death he's visited by a young girl who says Mr August I have a message for you just before you go back in time and this opens up this kind of secret world to him and what they're trying to do within it and the messages that they try to pass backwards and forwards in time. This is such an interesting read, I flew through it so quickly, I loved it so so much and again I never hear anybody talking about it and I don't know why. And lastly is the YA non-fiction which is The Secret Barrister by The Secret Barrister. So this is written by a currently sitting UK barrister which is why it is anonymous because they need a career. <laughs> and this is a scathing review of the British law system, about how the UK enforces its laws, how the laws, <laughs> stories of the law and how it's broken. And this is, it includes cases that the barrister has worked, they're all of course anonymised, but they are real life cases and it discusses kind of the issues with the law, where people have managed to find these commonly used loopholes that for some reason we aren't closing up, and also when the law fails its citizens. This is an incredibly interesting book, of course it does focus on UK law, so it is going to have a limited scope of who it's interesting to. I know that Carrie from Caring for Books is interested in this one because she actually works within law in the US, but I will just say, like, maybe wait and listen to see what Carrie says about this as well if you are from not the UK or you have no relation to the UK as to why you would read it. But I do find it very very interesting and because of our colonialist past we have influenced the laws in quite a few nations around the world so this could actually be relevant to a variety of different countries. It is slightly relevant to the US because we did have an impact there as well as a lot of the countries that we had within the Commonwealth and that we did colonise. And those are the five books that you've probably never heard of that you really need to pick up and read. Let me know if you have even heard of any of these. I assume that most of you will have heard of this one, um, The Bonus Mercies, and then maybe The Secret Barrister um, for my UK viewers and Carrie. Um, <laughs> but if you've heard of any of them please do let me know and if you've read them let me know what you think because these are... oh my hair! <laughs> these are some of my favourite books. I think I gave all of them five stars and no one ever talks about them. Ever. <laughs> Let me know if you think you're going to pick any of them up, if you have picked any of them up, what you think, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!